Right now at 11, police are asking for your help tracking down the driver who hit a woman in Winchester and just left her in the road. Tonight, the victim tells WBZ she can't work and her life's been turned upside down. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka. WBZ's Julie McDonald joins us live from Winchester, where police are still hoping to find justice, Julie. Chris, this poor woman, so much of her work is about helping others look and feel their best. That's what she was doing last week after a long day getting her clients ready for their holiday gatherings. She left her salon here, was crossing the street to her car. That's when she was hit. Kathy kindly spoke with WBZ tonight as she returned from getting an MRI. She doesn't want to show her face on camera as she heals, but she and the people who love her want some closure here. That is the part that's the most disturbing because I think there's somebody out there and they know they hit me. Kathy Alciello can't remember that moment of impact when a driver in Winchester hit her crossing the street Thursday night. Just days before Christmas, that driver kept on going. Kathy was rushed to the hospital, afraid, in pain, and with serious injuries. The scapula is broken and they're concerned about another um, break in like the, another part of the shoulder. And I can't drive because I have a concussion. and Recovery will take several weeks, meaning months away from her busy hair salon during the non-stop new year. I'm trying to get my business on track after this crazy few years of COVID, and it finally felt like this year during the holidays, I was like, oh, it seems kind of normal again. And then this happens. Investigators are looking for a white Lincoln MKX crossover SUV, which likely has front end damage. Kathy and her family remaining hopeful that driver will do the right thing. And that hurts me because I am hurt and I I'm sad about it. I feel like my life is upside down right now. That person should come forward and I hope they do. So detectives are asking the public to keep an eye out. Anyone with information or surveillance video asked to come forward. This happened around 845 Thursday night right here near Main and Vine Streets. Live in Winchester tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.